Hi, my name is Stephen Benson, Murfield Town Council. I've put a survey video together for Stanard Lane at Murfield, the areas running up towards Sands Lane and the ship. You can quite clearly see by the video that parts of Stanard Lane is slightly sinking towards the River Calder. This is probably caused by years and years of uh, hammering from the cold every time it floods and recedes it starts washing pines away. Please also take particular attention to the concrete barriers what run parallel with the river. Have a look at the poor condition there and, and there's areas where there's no barriers whatsoever where they've just been washed away by the floods in 2015. The main reason for this video is because uh, talking to a lot of people and going to meetings regarding the floods on uh, Boxing Day 2015. A lot of people have stated that the river called the flood differently than ever, differently from a different method of flooding from what it's ever flooded before. Uh, different areas have uh, spilled and flooded. Uh, I believe there's a good chance that um, because down at the Stanard Lane area we always end that, that area will flood first this time it flooded more than it's ever done before, quite obviously. We had high, high river levels and uh, it broke records. But when you get a, a body of water, a flood wall that moves a lot slower than the main channel of the, the river. When the channel, main channel flow, it's this body of slow moving flood water. It removes all the energy out of the, the flow of the river and that can not have a knock on effect right the way up back the river just removing that energy from the river and I think that is why we had more areas what flooded this time round uh, because of the bottleneck effect at, um, at the ship Stenard Lane Murfield it runs parallel with the uh, river Calder sinking towards the river. You can see, make out this telegraph pole in front of me that is now leaning towards the river. There's three major spots in this area that have dropped 150 mil. These areas what have dropped uh, with years of um, years of force from the river colder. And now the first area is what flood. This is where the river breaches first, heading towards the ship on Stanard Lane. You can see the lane itself. camber crossfall which doesn't look like it's a, a designed uh, camber which you'd expect from the highways. As you can see the barrier is up and down and leading towards the river. This area road here where you can see the fence dip so is the lane. The lane's actually sunk in this area, it's about 150 mil lower than the rest of the lane. Heading up towards Sands Lane. We also 
to um, where vehicles have been packed the post. They have to be that close to the road, sorry, to the lane. There's no banking between the lane and the road. Again, just on the junction of Sands Lane and um, Senai Lane, you see barriers missing. Another danger hot spot for Murfield. And the foot sign still up on Sands Lane. Of the um, concrete barrier against the Ned Lane and the River Calder. 